the 4th of July holiday. And Joe, you know, it's amazing. We were talking about the heat mm -hmm. earlier, and it's really incredible to compare the high last year well, to the high today. It, what, 40 degrees difference? More than difference? 40 degree difference between the high from today and what we saw a year ago today. 116, of course, last summer on this date. Only 75 uh, this afternoon. Well, yeah, we'll take I this think a lot any of people day. Are take that cooler <laughs> air uh, any day of the week, and it's going to be more of the same for tomorrow as well. Waking up to morning clouds, followed by a little bit more of that sunshine by the afternoon. But really, temperatures are comfortable right now, Laura. We're looking at readings in the low 60s. Here's a live look from our Rose City camera. Winds are pretty light out there tonight, and there is a weak disturbance that brushes on by uh, this evening that could be bringing in a little bit of some light, spotty sprinkles, maybe a passing shower throughout the uh, almost said the Oregon Cascades but the Oregon beaches. But again, we're not going to be seeing any measurable amount of rain at least the next couple of days. Things will be changing, though, heading into the holiday weekend. We'll get to that in the 70 forecast. But like I said, today we saw a high of 75 degrees, basically right on track for this time of year. And we haven't seen any measurable amount of rain for close to a couple of weeks or so. And that's going to continue at least the next few days. And, you know, we're going to be looking at mostly cloudy skies to start things off. And then right around lunchtime, we'll start to see those clouds lift a little bit. We'll start to see a little more of that sunshine carry over it's really up and down the I-5 corridor. And then Thursday, you're going to be waking up to more of an onshore flow followed by sunny skies. And I'm expecting to see temperatures kind of jumping back into the upper 70s, low 80s by both Thursday and into Friday. And highs across the metro area, we're in the mid 70s out there, 72 in Aurora, a little bit cooler the more um, south you went of the city and along the coast. Temperatures were in the low to the mid 60s, and there is about a 20 degree difference at one point, a 25 degree difference in temperatures from this afternoon to what you saw yesterday when we saw a high of 96 degrees. But we're done with the 90s, at least for now. I'm sure there's going to be another round of at least another uh, couple of heat waves throughout the summer. Morning clouds, though, along the coast tomorrow with temperatures in the low 60s. Newport you will be seeing a high right around the upper 50s and throughout the valley afternoon clearing again waking up to morning clouds but take a look at Salem Corvallis you'll be looking at daytime highs approaching the 80 degree mark and over in McMinnville temperature is just a little bit cooler in the mid 70s now meanwhile throughout eastern Oregon it's gonna be sunny windy and warm once again Legrand you'll be seeing a temperature close to 80 degrees and it'll be in the low to mid 80s through parts of Burns heading into tomorrow with gusts up to about 25 miles per hour this was a pretty shot earlier as you can see some um, Basically clear skies throughout the mountains uh, earlier this afternoon. That's going to be the case heading into tomorrow as well. Sunny by the afternoon. There will be a little bit of some morning clouds, but the freezing level is at 12,000 feet. And when you see the freezing level above 10,000 feet, you know it's going to be pretty warm throughout the mountains. And that's what you're going to be looking at at Government Camp and Timberlake Lodge tomorrow afternoon. And throughout Central Oregon, sunny and very nice. Over in Bend in the high desert, you'll be uh, seeing overnight lows dropping down in the mid to the upper 40s. Daytime highs right around the low to the mid 80s and throughout the Columbia River Gorge waking up to some clouds, but you're gonna be seeing temperatures right around the mid to the upper 70s on the west end of the gorge. That includes Cascade Locks and Hood River. You travel east a little bit on I-84, the Dalles, you'll be seeing temperatures in the low 80s. And on your 70 forecast, you're gonna be looking at a mix of clouds and sunshine tomorrow, 76 degrees. Then both Thursday and Friday will warm up pretty nicely right around the low 80s. That's probably Best temperature, I think, for this time of year. Upper 70s to low 80s. It stays nice for Saturday as well. And then there's a slight chance we'd be seeing some passing showers heading into Saturday night and a Sunday. But uh, for the most part, we're going to be seeing some cooler conditions for the holiday weekend. And uh, those showers you see for Sunday and Monday I'm are looking be at those. pretty light. I know people are going to be wanting to celebrate outdoors, barbecues and parades and what have you. And then it shouldn't be a washout, but just some light precipitation. And we uh, see our temperatures warm up again by next Tuesday. Of course, July 5th. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> right on cue. Yep. Thank you, Joe. We'll be right back.